previously. I've arranged for you to sell live on one of the country's leading shopping channels. Akshay was in the hot seat. This is something we should be able to completely yes. smash, but quickly got burned. It is absolutely life-changing. Can't claim it to be my life-changing, okay? Don't say life-changing. Catherine and Stephanie were under pressure. It is now 59 guys. And their sales failed to heat up. Can't believe they ever sold any. On the other team, Brittany was running the show. It's actually my childhood dream to sell on TV, so I am so excited. But Harpreet called the shots. Oh, Aaron, just swing her about. Swing, swing her around, about. Aaron. Swing her around, Aaron. Yeah. And sales for their star product... Oh, we got a corner. We got a corner. We have a corner. corner. ...stole the limelight. They sold 56 products, totaling 2,500... Stephanie was nearly tuned out. You were responsible for getting the ring. And the bottom line is, he didn't get it. But actually, you have lost eight out of nine tasks. Was turned off. It is with regret that you're fired. Now, six candidates remain to fight for the chance to become Lord Sugar's business partner. Aaron. I'm also happy to support Aaron. 
across the way. I'm happy to put myself forward as project manager for this one. I do have a vision in mind. With Harpreet at the controls. Yeah, I'm happy to have you as project manager. Yeah, well, I'm happy to. Okay, Trust cool. You. The team brainstorm baby food. So, guys, in terms of dishes, I'm actually pescatarian. Um, I'd love to hear, so have you got any fish ideas? What kind of cuisine would you be thinking? Yeah. Um, for me, I don't want to play it too safe, and we have to think unique. We could go for something maybe pan-Asian. I'm thinking of going down the curry route. Having an Indian curry at home is such a popular cuisine for people to have. It'd be lovely if your baby can join in and have their little curry as well. So I think with fish, that's easily achievable because fish is quite soft. It's not going to get stuck in their throat. They don't need to chew it too much. I've got far in this process. I've only lost one task so far. So I'm not going to start changing the way I am or the way I do things. I need to keep it going. I think Middle Eastern me personally. That would be my preference. So, veering towards veg. A lot of people are going like the vegan route, the vegetarian route. That was what I was going more toward. Aaron handpicks tasks for his team. I've seen you branding and so creative, but at the same time, you know about nutrition. So I think in terms of the kitchen. I really think I'd be better on the branding. I think I've proved that I'm one of the strongest branders in cool. the process. No, you have done I definitely well. think I would be better on the I agree. Branding. So I'm, I'm going to put you two on branding yes. because you really, really tight. I think we will be very, very strong on branding. This is so, what we do. This is what we know. Exactly. And I think we could create something very, very good. Just have freedom and free will to do what yeah. you do best. I'm not sure what Aaron was thinking. He gave them no specific brief, so he could be in real trouble if they come back with something that he doesn't like. Just be as creative as you possibly can. Good luck in the kitchen. Also putting people in their place. In terms of my skill, I feel really confident going on to the flavour side of it. Project manager, Harpreet. I think two heads on the branding side will be better than one. Yeah. In that case, Steph, I'd love for you to be sub-team leader. Yeah. yeah. In terms of colours and things, I'm thinking maybe something like blue. I don't mean baby blue, I mean yeah. more of a vibrant navy blue, maybe. Quite like the idea of a little bowl, because that's what you would have a curry in. Do you want fish on the packaging? Let's not lead with the fish. Okay. Let's come up with something a little new, let's take a little bit of a risk. You know, offer baby something new to try. Harpre is spoon-feeding her team the things she wants them to do. But the problem with that, if it doesn't work out, there's only one person to point that dreaded finger at. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool, let's go. I'm gonna go to the kitchen and start making some baby food. <laughs> it's gonna be an awesome. <laughs> Remember it's my baby though, not you. 11 a.m. Half of each team sets off to wrangle recipes. The rest will give birth to brands. One thing that's concerning me is he voiced in this brainstorm. I know what you're going to say. He said you have complete freedom. Yeah. And the whole point of the PM is to bring this together so that there's synergy between the yeah. two teams. We're walking away and he's given us no vision. At the test kitchens. Your raw ingredients need to be cooked and then you need to add your liquid in and puree in. A briefing on baby food from industry experts. The texture is really important at 10 months. You want it to be a bit lumpy. However, you don't want your baby to choke. choke. Got it, thank you. Next on Harpreet's plate. I'm gonna let you get on with it. Yeah. Find flavors which fit the fishy brief. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly try out a dish with the salmon. So, let's get a nice chunk of salmon. Let's give that a little blend. Okay, that looks good. Veggies, spinach, let's get a bit of green edge going on, cauliflower, what about a cheeky carrot? So now I'm going to create a little bit of a tomato ish base. A little bit of fresh coriander, a bit of ginger, a tiny, tiny bit of turmeric, garam masala, that's going to add a little bit of depth, carve it down, a tiny drop of coconut milk. Tried to create something that's high in protein, lots of green veg and colourful veg, and some spices which have all kinds of extra benefits attached to them. I still think it's a little tangy, but it's a nice flavour. I don't want to overcomplicate things and have stuff for the sake of it. Set on a vegetarian dish. So I think I'm going to go mental. Aaron gives his ideas a taste test. I'm going to put some sweet potato in. So what I'm going to do is puree the sweet potato with the butter and squash. Bang that in there. Now I'm going to put a bit of cumin in so we get a bit of flavour in. And then have a bit of lentil in there. Oh, come in. 
like this. At the minute, it's just mush. So we're going to try adding a bit of rice. Aaron himself was very passionate about the idea of being a vegetarian-based meal, yet he's only used two vegetables in the entire recipe. I mean, that's crazy. It tastes like, I would say, a Moroccan medley. Which I think that's what I'm going to call it. Central London. Design base for both teams. Leading photography studio, House of Fuji. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you guys. Priority for Stephanie and Akeem. I've got a few ideas to kind of throw out there that we could refine on. Conceive a baby food brand name. Bubba's Little Dishes. Bubba's Bites. Bubba's Little Bowls. Why do you mean Bubba? Because it's a baby. Oh, <laughs> little bubble. Okay, I was confused. <laughs> I just thought it was sweet. It was Say sweet, it again. It was light. Bubba, um, Bubba's little bowls. Done. Do you like that? I like that. Do you? I don't know what Bubba meant. I've never heard that. Um, well, if you haven't heard of it, then I'm wary. Miniature meals. No. Your first foodie, like our first foodie, my first foodie. First time foodie. <gasps> I like that. Should we do first time foodies? First time foodies. First time foodies. Yeah. That's like even that. better. Across the hall. Little taste adventure, I absolutely love that. Oh. For Catherine and Brittany, brand name ticked off. Hello, Aaron. Um, how are you getting on? Yeah, good. I've gone with a Moroccan style with it. Okay. But it's more like a Moroccan medley. I've got some Moroccan couscous in there. And some brown rice to thicken it up a little bit. Lentil. Um, some sweet potato. And some butternut squash. Could you have, yeah, okay. Could you have just done just brown rice or just couscous, or did you have to have both? No, I didn't have to have both. I banged the couscous in, and it was still quite... It weren't really a good texture. But... Okay, we got to go, just because we've got a lot to get through. Speak to you later. Bye. Cool, thanks. Bye. Obviously, normally you would either have couscous or brown rice. You wouldn't have both. Yeah. And then I thought that it was going to have a lot of vegetables in, and it's packed full of vegetables. We've only got sweet potato. And butternut squash. Hello. Hey. Driving her team through the details. This recipe is a salmon and spinach curry. Project manager, Harpreet. Please grab a pen and paper. I need to tell you the ingredients. We have tomato. We have coconut milk. Spinach. Onion. Cauliflower. A little bit of carrot. And I want you to mention some of the nutritional benefits of this baby food. Just go with what's best. Don't deviate from what we're trying to achieve here. Okay. Right, okay, okay, guys. Good luck. Have fun. Oh, right, there's no extra added salt or sugar. There's no salt or sugar. 1pm. Next for Catherine and Brittany. Can we quickly brainstorm yeah. what icons say scream to you? Create a logo for Little Taste Adventure. Could we do like a magnifying glass with like the world inside that? I don't know how we would incorporate that with the logo name. I'm just brainstorming. We could make it look like a saucepan as well. No, too much of a stretch. A I saucepan. guess it would have to either be a magnifying glass or, or a saucepan. saucepan. If we can get something that incorporates that and that and looks like a kid. Yeah, wait, this could work. Is there any way you think you'd be able to create that? Right, let me explain this. So basically, yeah, this is a frying pan. If you looked like from a bird's eye, it would obviously be a circle. And that's where the world would be, but it'd be kind of like slanted. Any particular orientation with the image? No, I think we just need to get it on there if that's okay. Yeah, as long as it looks yes. like the like a globe. I think they've ruined a really decent brand name by creating a frying pan which looks like a magnifying glass with the world in it. That doesn't mean anything to anybody at all. Because we now write Little Taste Adventure. Yeah, so that taste is written great and then we use that. Yeah. I think we want something that people can spot from a mile away. Breathing life into first-time foodies. Do you want to start with maybe the colours of the packaging going around the jar? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Bakim and Stephanie. That's a nice blue. Let's then. just try that all over. Cool. Let's move on to the logo now. First time foodies will be in white. Um, I quite like that. If we could have an Asian looking bowl for the two O's. The horizontal bars across, just two. Perfect, just like that. Can we just back that out so we can see the labels? Oh, please, thank you. We need to add the name of the dish. Salmon and spinach, coconut curry. 
Can we put the salmon and spinach coconut curry above where the Are you sure you don't want it on the front? Well, no, because if we're trying to sell the brand as bigger than just the actual thing itself. Okay, cool. They've created this label for their baby food, but when I look at it, all I see is first time dyes. I mean, what parent wants to see that on the side of baby food? I think we haven't done a bad job. Who do you think so? Print deadline looming. Can you go on one? Brittany focuses on the finer details. Keep going down, please. I think we just choose any. Just to be just... safe, should we? Is that definitely right? Yeah, that's fine. We haven't got time. Can we make the background red? Okay, red. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, next, can we put Moroccan medley in the middle, please? Can we put that, like, in the square box? You know when you can't oh, do God. a straight line? Okay, Brett, we might need to move on because no, we've got three minutes. You know when you can get, like, a pen and draw a line? Brett, I think we're taking too long. <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to describe. Right, I think we need all right, three minutes. You're all right, you're sucking up. You're vegetarian protein, vitamin. I think you should call it vegetarian protein, as well. Okay, that's fine. And then, can we just zoom out, Cookie, please? I'm oh, just not happy. Yeah, I'm not happy. I'm really not happy. Brittany kept going over the font, and I was trying to say, let's move on, but she wanted to get it perfect. But as a result of that, we've missed a lot of time, so it's really hard. Um, yeah. Across town. So, first thing I'm going to do is get my salmon on so I can just start cooking. While Heartbreed creates a sample batch for tomorrow's pitches. Cauliflower. Carrots, 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 carrots. Still refining his recipe. Put that in there. Project manager, Aaron. That was surprisingly straightforward, and in this process, I've decided from start to finish to go with my gut, literally. And I think at the end of the day, I think I've got what I wanted. So why mess around with something that doesn't need to be messed around with? It must be alright because I keep eating it. Six p.m. We want Finn to be nicely in the chair, and we want him to be. Reaching for a spoon. Taking the lead on a first time foodies poster. He wants to experiment, he wants to try something new. So we're going to try and capture that in one picture. Finance manager, the key. So um, can we just change the orientation? So essentially, um, Finn is facing us. Okay. That's fine, right. We've got, we haven't got very long, so yeah. we might need to smash these out if possible. We are going for pan Asian. You see, so we could have him reaching towards the east. We could just start um, shooting. So the spoon first, but he's reaching for it. Yeah, so oh, he's sorry. reaching for it. No, we need to crack on. Okay, okay. we need to just stop focalizing okay. the image and actually get on with it. The direction is predominantly me. I'm, I'm quite good at like pushing things forward. Obviously, it was a cute idea, but sometimes he gets a bit like faffy, and so I need to kind of streamline that. Is there anything that we could do to make him smile? Um, yeah. Oh my god. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Are we a distraction, do you think? Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. Let's leave. Sorry. <laughs> Pulling together their poster. <laughs> There's definitely ones that we can use. Catherine and Brittany. Yes. That's cute. Okay, cool. What I'll do is I'll just grab your logos now. Thank you. While you're grabbing the logo, we may as well pull it on and put it at the top as well, please. Yeah, of course. We want it to look like she's kind of got a plate of food, but it is like the earth. Yeah, okay. Being a baby is all about discovery. But we, the, I think because being a baby is all about discovery, do you? That doesn't make sense, though. Because being a baby is all about discovery and it's time, it doesn't make sense. And that leads on to its little taste adventures, because yeah. being a baby is all about discovery. And then we would go down and say, dot, 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 and it's time. It's your call, but... Okay, let's just get it on. Yeah. There are too many cooks in this particular kitchen right now. They are just talking all over each other. They're contradicting what the other one says. The poor designer's sitting there just not knowing what to do. We need to get that text in in the right place and we need to change the font and we need to change the font. We've got a lot to do still. Labouring over their layout. Um, is there any way that we would be able to add our logo and tagline, please? Akeem and Stephanie. Should we add some bullet points or keep it literally to that? It's quite minimalistic. 
in my mind, um, I don't really want to superimpose any images or writing on top of any of the people. Um, Maybe the first half really is a bit more to the left, and then a few tiny bullet points in that little space of what our food is offering. They got a poster, but I've got to say, not a lot of thought has gone into it. They got a photograph with a few words added to it. I mean, it's not very creative. I don't think that we would want to add more content to the picture. I think it's the picture speaks itself, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, perfect. Yeah. 7 p.m. Hopefully the babies like it. I'm done. Flavors finalized. Let's take it to print. Brands in place. Bye. Thank you. Tomorrow, convince two major retailers to buy into their brand. 7 a.m. Project manager Harpreet. Give me, I'm desperate. Okay. A first look at her label. What are your thoughts? Um, the only thing is, if I saw that on a shelf, I'd have to really pick it up, really turn it round to really read in small. Oh, it's a salmon and spinach. Yeah. Curry. Um, I think I would have maybe advanced the logo a little. I think the font yeah. is quite basic. Like literally, essentially, that looks like you know, like a blue food plaster. Yeah. yeah. With the name on. It's not really clear from there who we are, what the brand is. So I think we're going to have to just really bear that in mind when we're pitching to the retailers. Across the hall. So the fact that they've got an adventure and it's about discovery, I think is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Branding approved. Next, the big reveal of Aaron's baby food. So this is the dish. The dish of the day. Okay. What do you think? It just has that, like, just quite stodgy beige feel. Yeah. It doesn't have enough vegetables in for us to go down the healthy route. That was when I could What veg did you want in it? I would well. have maybe put in, like, carrots or tomatoes and things like that, just so you yeah, can cool. say it's full of vegetables. The concerns they had was I wanted more veg in there, so it was very beige. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to not overcomplicate things and I won't put any more ingredients in that. We just have to have these meetings to make sure that we can think of what will come up in the pictures. So, yeah. And I think the only thing that I can imagine they're coming back with is it's vegetarian, but there's not very many vegetables in. I can taste the fish in there. I can taste the fish. For team foodies... Yeah, it tastes all right. Yeah. Taste test complete. Akeem, you can talk about, obviously, the vision of it. Next, first peek at their promotional poster. Uh, we, we structured absolutely everything in here. So we got the high chair because that's where people normally eat. And um, we have the tagline in the, in the top left hand corner. And then we also have just a logo that is just quite fun, endearing, first time foods. Nice. And obviously, and also the position it gives, he's reaching out east to the east side of the world. <laughs> so East Asia. I right? love that. I think the poster looks fantastic. The storyline behind it. Um, that I had created, I thought it was great. I really think that the poster is going to be very eye-catching and memorable. Akeem, I'm going to ask you to please go and do the consumer testing. Let's go and smash it and let's go pitch these Yeah, things. I feel really happy yeah, with Yeah, well done, well done. I love the concept of it all, yeah. so I think let's just push, let's pitch. and yes. get a lot of orders. Yes. 10 a.m. Half of each team heads off to gather feedback on their brands while the rest plan their pitches. I'd like to bounce off each other. Yeah. I know I'm the project manager, but you are really strong at pitching as well. I also feel like we're quite similar, so if I miss something, jump in. If you miss something, I'll add yeah. on to it. I feel like we'll both be able to bring that to the table. Hatfield. Good morning. First stop for first-time foodies. We'd love to invite you just to grab a little sample bowl and a jar. The world's largest online grocery retailer, Ocado. When you're selecting a baby food, you want something that is healthy. You want it to be made from quality ingredients. And that's why we've created First Time Foodies. Now, the most important thing about a label is essentially having all the information on there so that the parent can make an informed decision when they are picking up your brand or whether they would like to invest in your brand or not. You touched on that. It's really important to have all the information on the front of the pack. Yes. With that in mind, why have you not put the flavour profile on there? 
Um, obviously, it's really hard to fit everything within that one, and we wanted to make sure that with our tagline there and with our logo there, that they understood what the brand stood for. I would say customers coming in to buy quickly, they don't have the flavor profile in the front of the pack. They're more likely to buy something. Else. Okay, so if you would like the flavor profile on the front of that package, that is certainly a reconfiguration that we can do. So I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. You have one or two seconds to grab a parent when they're browsing an incredibly crowded market on our website. Your logo in that instance reads, first time dies. I think you should probably try and explain to us how you didn't pick that up. We didn't foresee that, but if it was an issue for you, um, as this is just a prototype, we can certainly figure a way out where it would be more appropriate for you so that it is clear that it says foodies and doesn't mention that word. So if the logo's unfinished, the packaging's unfinished, do you think it's particularly professional? Completely understand what you're saying, and as we said, we can refine that from your feedback. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for your time. Thank you. Okay, so we have a huge issue with the word dice, okay? We're gonna have to say, by the way, the intention is to move this box. Oh, to I don't sorry. think we should highlight it because in the next page they may not notice that. It's really difficult to not notice that. Yeah, but you say that, but none of us three noticed it. Okay. It's just there are some major issues with that packaging. Mm. We're gonna have to try and build that into our pitch somehow. The biggest issue is, from this label, it looks like we want to kill children. So we are going to really have to think about this in the next pitch. This is the one thing that could really make or break us. Let's go. Hello. Next, through the door. If you would like to come on up and take some products, please. Thank you. Aaron's vegetarian creation. Little taste adventure. Our brand will be originated from the souks of Marrakesh with our vegetarian Moroccan medley. We aim for you to be on our journey with us. We here at Little Taste Adventure are on a mission to revolutionize bland baby food. The product is so thick, I don't understand how you're supposed to get it out of the pouch. A 10 month old baby will not be able to squeeze a product this dense out of the pouch. Initially, we wanted something that was a bit chunkier so that it can kind of stimulate chewing from the baby. Like but again, chewing a long time at best. That's really good feedback for us for when we go back to yeah, finalise this recipe. The second problem I have with this is your branding's around taking us on a flavoured journey. This is probably the most bland baby food I've ever tasted. But where are the vegetables? Where are the greens? Yeah, that's a really, really good question itself. One thing I didn't want to do is lose the identity of Morocco, so, and we also didn't want to make the flavour overpowering for the baby. The logo that you have is very unclear to me. Is it a frying pan? Is it a magnifying glass? It's just not very obvious. It is supposed to be a frying pan, but also a magnifying glass, so we wanted to use the frying pan to represent the food. I don't think a frying pan depicts health, though, does it? Thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye. <sighs> you did amazing. <sighs> The team seem to think they've done really well, but I'm not so sure. I think unless they start to address some of the core issues here in the second pitch, they could be in real trouble. North London. Oh, it's very stodgy. Catherine gets the lowdown. It's just so like, look at that. On Little Taste Adventure. Yum, yum. And so if you want to go ahead and give it a go and let me know your thoughts. <laughs> what do you think? No? <laughs> just maybe it just needs to be a bit softer, okay? A bit wetter. You've got brown rice, couscous, sweet yeah. potato. That's quite a lot of storage for a Moroccan adventurous food. Yeah, it is. I'd say a little bit flat. Okay. I would have liked to see other vegetables, yeah. maybe. Summer seems to be enjoying it. Oh. <laughs> she is. On the other team. Ooh. Oh, Otis is lovely. Akeem looks for fans of first time foodies. What are our first impressions of the logo? The first thing that comes to mind is the word dies. Okay. Oh, for me. Hmm? No, uh, absolutely. Is the 
it's the dyes as well that, that did come to mind. The word dyes. Okay. The packaging and the labeling doesn't really stand out. Like, if I saw this on a shelf, I wouldn't really understand what it's for. Slight concern that it actually says dyes, and um, something that was completely overlooked by myself and Stephanie. So, a little bit of a concern, especially when we talk to the buyers. 4 p.m. Next for Heartbreed's team. How did the pitch go? The pitch to High Street Giants, Iceland. I think we're lucky in the packaging. It actually says first time dyes underneath. I also had the same comment about the dyes part, which is unfortunate. So, um, as you can imagine, it wasn't great, but the taste was fantastic. Okay, so, so the way that you've just said that to me, obviously I'm going to ask you to take the consumer research segment in the next pitch. Yep. Yeah, right. I think while we've got this in our brains, guys, let's go and pitch, yes. and pitch this to the client. Yeah. Next door. They said it's quite thick, quite stodgy. Feedback gathered. Now decide a strategy. So we have a, we had a few difficult questions okay. and you know I, I tried to battle as much as I possibly can Brittany did the taste they said it was beige yeah um they wanted more veg in it they said it was quite like bland and stuff if you see us any of us struggling I'm going to just give you a look yeah um, okay. first through the doors please do feel free to try it and sample it Hakeem Stephanie and Harpreet we wanted to create a baby food brand of today that parents are looking for. So the first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is our name, First Time Foodies. And we are so passionate about that name because we really think it encapsulates the vision that we are trying to create with this brand. Stephanie, you um, you, you talked about the logo. Yeah. Um, to be honest, when I look at it, what I see is first time fuck dies. Okay, I completely understand what you're saying. So we didn't actually notice that, but I'm really, really glad that you did kind of highlight that. So if you aren't happy with that and you think that that reads like that, we are happy to change that branding for you to make sure that it reads to the consumer. If there's ever a word that you don't want associated with babies, is that word on the end, dies. What we would love to do is Akeem, yeah, Akeem has done some great consumer research on babies. Tell them how these babies are there. Yeah, so I think the first thing just to start off with Every single parent said that the flavours, the taste, is the main reason that, that they would. I think the product back. actually tastes really good. I just can't get over the piece around. Dice. We feel strongly about the brand, the name, and the concept, and we know it's strong. If we had the opportunity to work with yourselves and look at an order, all we would simply need to do is make some adjustments to the logo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Michael, Richard, Sanj, good evening. Next, to try and win over the buyers. Who's Michael? Um, oh, Michael, apologies. My name's Matthew. Matthew, I'm so sorry, Matthew, thank you. Catherine, Brittany and Aaron. Our first stop would be Morocco. And that takes us to the vegetarian Moroccan medley. So firstly, I'd love to comment the brand name, Little Taste Adventure. It quite literally refers to the adventure we would like to take our babies on by showing them cuisines and tastes from all around the world. I appreciate your enthusiasm and uh, the passion for what you're trying to do. Um, but for me, uh, you've fallen at the first hurdle in terms of the quality of the products. No flavour, stodgy. We um, kind of have tested this product with the consumer feedback and the babies love it and the parents did love it they tasted this they did they did taste it yes i understand the idea behind uh, adventure yes um but with regards to the post i just don't think it's clear for the consumer yeah. you know in terms of what it is um what you're trying to do now these things that you pointed out you are experts in your field so if there's a taste that you're not particularly interested in or there's something that you need tweaking we're happy to work with you I don't, I don't think you're going to persuade us, but, but thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. That was so tough. That was really tough. Do you tough. know what? Whatever happens out of this, I can't say you, you... I'm really, really chuffed with how you've done it. Predominantly, I think the biggest issue was the taste. They absolutely hated it, and that comes down to Aaron. There's no one more disappointed about the foodies thing than myself. Um, I but, just didn't see it. Yeah. Like, even, like, obviously now, and... If we lose this task, I can genuinely say it's not because of any decisions I've made. There hasn't been a lack of my leadership. It's simply been a lack of them following the brief. Pitch is over. 
orders, if any, will be totaled. Tomorrow, the boardroom. Yes, Lord, I think the consensus was I'm the only one who you've 
had children. How old are your children now? Me, eldest is nearly 15, my youngest is just shy of 11. Quite a while away from, uh, yeah, uh, from baby food. But anyway, you're now the project manager. So you decided that you were going to go with uh, Middle Eastern foods. That, that, that That's choice. right, Lord Sugar. I had a look at the base ingredients that I could have. Um, and lentil has the highest in protein. Right, and not too spicy either. No, I was told, obviously, we didn't want to have a Moroccan medley and have something that's going to be really difficult. The Moroccan medley sounds like a band in Casablanca wedding, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these two ladies were sent off to do the branding and everything else, OK? That's right. Did you give them any brief? The brief that I said, well, which also we wanted to make sure that it's touching on a Middle Eastern feel, but we wanted to make sure that the children are exploring the world and different cultures around the world. Um, in terms of Did you get a yeah, that, that idea of going around the world was what we came up in the branding. We didn't feel like we had any direction, if I'm completely honest. No, not at all. Brittany was really vocal and said, I really want to do branding. Yourself said, this is a bit of me, I really want to do the branding. Okay, so ladies, um, you now are going off on the branding. So, yeah. talk to me. So we settled with Little Taste Adventure. We thought that was quite a good vision to go with. Um, so were you happy with the packaging in the end? Um, we weren't over the moon, we felt it was quite basic. We weren't over the moon? No, we, I mean, yeah. yeah. You designed the No, I know, but we spent so much time on the logo because we found that that was quite, quite important. We only left five minutes to actually design the actual packaging. Mm. Anyway, day two, we start pitching this, this to the uh, retailers. Yes, that's correct. And our first one, again, was the uh, online uh, retailer. Who did that? That was myself and Brittany. Yeah. Oh, sugar. And did they try the food? They didn't yeah, they, they weren't keen on the food at all. Um, Why not? Because I probably because it was just bland, to be fair. And so well, I heard this was like, like you use it to for grouting when in a tiles or on or in your bathroom. Yeah, yeah. At, at, at the end of the day, that's when you're 11 year old. Most probably, if you fed that to her, she'd still be chewing it now. Probably, 11 yeah. years later. Um, that's all on, on me. At the end of the day, I was the one who was in the kitchen on my own. I mean, see, the thing is, Aaron, is that the bottom line is we're selling food. Exactly. Uh, food, her one, they liked it, they tasted it, they said, oh, this is good, the food tastes good. You're saying it didn't taste good. I'm not what did you do to to kind of um, mitigate that? Yeah, we said everything in terms of, they said, well, it was a bit bland, it could do with more like spices. So I said, when it gets to production, we can make it how you would like it, really. All right. Um, so, how do you think it went? Project manager, any good? Um, I would probably not. I would say that it just lacks leadership and direction. It just sounds like you should have pushed him around in a pram. I think at the end of the day, I think I just did what I wanted to do, and that was to give people who were talented the freedom. I um, mean, what I would have liked if we had any issues, probably was probably best to let me know. But obviously, things things change. Yeah. All right. So let's find out what went on. So. Karen, um, how did uh, Infinity get on with the High Street uh, retailer? Um, well, the High Street retailer you saw, uh, they weren't keen on the brand, and um, Alan, they didn't place any orders. Oh, right. Mike, same thing on this day in the High Street retailer. Well, Alan, the High Street retailer didn't like the product or the brand. They placed no orders. Well, I'm sticking with you, Mike, then. How about the uh, online retailer? Well, they also didn't like the product or the brand. They placed no orders. Ooh. Karen? Well, they loved the product. Um, but they couldn't get over that logo. And uh, they didn't place any orders. <sighs> No orders at all from anybody? No. Bloody hell. Okay, look. Well, you're both going to have to go off uh, and have a chat amongst yourselves and come back in here later on and um, I'm going to have to work out what we're going to do. All right? Freaking word. We're both not stupid. We both looked at that logo and obviously so disheartened because now it is a bit clearer to see that logo was created by Steph. So I believe Steph is the one 
She don't. In the second pitch, what we should have said is, we've noticed it, we're going to correct it. I was more than happy for someone else to take that question. Without me, we wouldn't have the name, tagline, colours. I know the logo may be wrong, but Keen didn't have any alternatives. I did contribute, I did have ideas, and I did exactly what I've been assigned to do. I'm not going to say that you haven't contributed at all. Only, because I, that. only because I feel in this task I contributed, I feel that I've done it quite well. So I just want to highlight that. Yeah. The failure of this task definitely doesn't lie with me, and we can all see that. Um, the failure definitely lies with the branding team. You're at your comfort zone with the food, but the main thing that it came down to was the taste. It's just really difficult. I, I think it's when you put yourself in a kitchen yeah. on your own, not that. doing baby food. Absolutely. And if it does boil down to that, then I'm man enough and I'll take yeah. it. We went vegetarian and there wasn't vegetables. I voiced that concern from the very beginning. I knew it was going to be a massive issue, and it was. I just think as a leader, you should kind of just give more in, in the brainstorm, and I said that. If you're saying to me, Catherine, that maybe you wanted someone to tell you what to do, when that was your fault, no. then I could have, you should have said that. No. I just made a comment on how I felt in the boardroom about his leadership skills, and he's just, he didn't take it well. If you had any issue with any direction, you got the balls to it's turn not, around and say, What, I said I love the food, did I? No, you never said any criticism about, about me, did you? There's been ample opportunity to say that she wasn't led. As soon as I spoke up in the boardroom, she covered about there straight away. Yes, could you send uh, all of the candidates in, please? Six um, people have put themselves forward as entrepreneurs. In my own baby food, I'm staring at six dummies, to be honest. To not actually get any orders on this in week 10 is incredible. Aaron, just tell me why you put yourself in the kitchen. When I spoke to Brittany, I said, you've done nutrition, do you want to get in the kitchen? And she was adamant, I don't want to go in the kitchen, I really want to do branding. Why did you really want to do branding? I'm not a very good cook. I know about macronutrients and kind of the cook. Look, 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 you don't need to be a good cook to make baby food, as long as you've got something called a moolie, whatever it's called, and you chuck all the stuff in, and you mush it all up, and you make sure you've got certain ingredients in there, job done. That's effectively what they did there. That's what he tried to do there, but instead he made plaster of Paris. I completely agree, Lord Sugar, but in this process, I've always been on the branding team, and all of my ideas have always been put forward, and we've won with them. What went wrong this time? Yeah. With this? There's a talk of you saying you ran out of time, is that right? Um, yeah, so this was with the packaging, we had to do it in five minutes. We just spent too long on the brand. We put our hands up to that. We spent yeah. too long on the name, the logo, the brand, and then we realised we had five minutes, so we were just getting all the Do information. Do I need to teach you about where the big hand is and the little hand goes? I mean, how long have you been here? You've been here for ten weeks. Mm. To run out of time is a joke. What we spent time on was trying to create a story, a name, a tagline that really meant something and that we could progress with. I was happy with what we produced. You was happy with what you produced? No, I was happy. But maybe I'm going nuts. I don't know. But what has that got to do with kids' food? I don't get it. We didn't think too much. We just wanted to relate it back to food. So anyway, the the, the pitch is that the food tasted terrible. The texture was too thick to get out of the packet. Once they said about the food, we kept going just because I think we were all just well, trying. From what I, heard, I think they were going to end up using tear gas to get rid of you because you kept going on and on and on. The guy said to you, no. Right, what, what don't you understand about that? No. In, in, in sorry, Catherine, in, in sales and, and what I've always done, I just don't want to give up. Hmm. Okay, anyway, Humphrey, you put yourself on food, and I've just told this lot here that there's no rocket science in making this stuff. Any one of those people could have done that, and you should have been in the branding team. Yes, I would have loved to be on the branding side. I can't be everywhere at once, and I, I felt I gave lots of direction to be able to put the heads together and come up with a brand. First time dies. Yeah. This sounds like a Bond movie. What I can't understand is that when you saw that label come off the printing press, what was you thinking? Can you read? First time dies. So, if I'm being completely honest, I just did not see it. How could you not see it? And Stephanie, how could you not see it and realize, oh my God, I can't do that. I can't put that in the market. 
yeah, I'm absolutely devastated that that happened and that we didn't foresee it. Um, hindsight is a wonderful thing, but yeah, I am devastated. You didn't even need hindsight. You had the jar with you all day and you still didn't see it. Do you think the vanity contributed to anything? Um, was it like a little Jack Horner sitting in a corner? I would say that majority of all the ideas were mine. I think Akeem is collaborative in the sense that he does agree with your ideas. Mm -hmm. There's not necessarily like a bouncing off of does the ideas. Does he ever um, disagree? Does he ever disagree? Do you ever disagree with anybody? I, I would have to disagree with that because I feel that in a lot of the past tasks that I have been very assertive. You did suggest, as Lord Sugar told you earlier, you should have put the flavour on the front. You yeah. said put the flavour on the front. Stephanie said no, and you said, oh, OK. No, and that's something that, in the interest of time, I wanted to move forward because we had a lot of things to do. It's a I, mistake. No, it was a mistake, and I genuinely regret not pushing that hard enough. OK, look, um, this is a very unusual situation. I hope both teams, so to speak, have lost. But this is one of the worst products I've ever seen in this boardroom. Um, you were responsible for making it. And so, it is with regret. Aaron, you're fired. Don't you be fired for the opportunity to come in? Um, just step outside and I'm going to call you back in shortly. she kept track of time. I think she's got still a lot to answer for. And what about Brittany? Brittany just doesn't listen. When she gets criticism, she says, well, thank you for that feedback. I'll listen to that in the future. She's not learning as she goes along. Yes, uh, send the candidates in, please. situation here with two bad products there are going to be four people in what used to be the famous final five that's what you've done to me Parpri, you were the project manager in this particular task if, we, if these two are culpable for this disaster here which one would you say should be leaving um lord sugar look i think they're both responsible for that fatal error someone should have noticed it i definitely take joint responsibility in that i'm not lying at all with the king but in terms of collaboration wise then i definitely contributed way more to that branding lord sugar i take responsibility at every single stage even in this task why should you stay in this process um i think that i always contribute to every single activity and I still was the second person to be the PM twice. I've been PM twice. Yes. No, we but in have. terms of I was the second person to have been I don't think that matters. It just means that you put your no, no, interesting no. statistic. No. Can I say something? Sure. Okay. Um, I think the one thing with me is that you can never question my contribution. I always try and put the most forward in every single task. I am resilient and I keep going. Mm. Lord Chuck, I want to say in every single task that's been a branded and creative task, my ideas have been the ones that have been used. Do you know you have a certain trait which you, you might find useful for me to point out yes. to you? That, that is, when you produce a piece of crap like this, yeah. if someone, if I say to you, it's no bloody good, yeah. you can't keep saying to me, oh no, it is, you, you, you're deluded. I think that when I create things, I do have passion in them, but everything that you've said about this, I completely agree. Well, can you not mind. see sometimes yourself that it's wrong? And there are times when you turn around and you say, my bad, yeah. my bad, sorry, you're right, yeah. sorry. We know that we can do better than that and yeah. kind of whip myself. I've never tried to hide in this process, Lord Sugar. I've put myself forward from the beginning. Um, I can lead. People respect me. They always trust me with their vision. That's why they do elect me as sub-team leader. Okay, I've, uh, I've had enough of listening to this 
I don't want to hear any more from anybody else, okay? Heartbreak. I am taking kind of a, a global view of the past 10 weeks. So, look, Harpreet, um, you're staying, okay? Thank you, Lodjaga. Thank you. Catherine and Brittany, I think the marketing of this thing was no good. Uh, Stephanie, you did say the brand was your idea. The name was my yeah, idea. Okay. The, yeah, the tagline, the, the, yeah. not the logo. Okay, listen, I don't want to hear any more now. Yeah. Akeem, you were part of the team that came up with that label. It was the reason you never got any orders. And Stephanie, he was the sub-team leader, so I suppose it's regretful that I have to point out that the responsibility lays in your direction. However, having said that, Akeem, you, you are a very highly educated person, but I don't feel that I've seen much from you in the past 10 weeks. Stephanie, um, it's a tough one, but um, regretfully, Hakeem, you're fired. Thank you, Lord Sugar. Well, one thing for sure, my next business partner is going to be a woman. So, I suppose a kind of congratulations, really, that after 10 weeks, you're in the final four, and I'll see you on the next task. Okay, off you go. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, Carl. Sugar's made a really big mistake by firing me. My sportswear business is going to do amazing stuff, so it's his loss. Now, four candidates remain. The search for Lord Sugar's next business partner continues. Next time, she's nervous. <laughs> business plans on trial. You have submitted a glorified brochure. Credentials cross-examined. You making this up as you go along? Would I be able to respond to that? Not necessarily. Savage. And in the boardroom. I don't think this business is for me. Judgment day. You're fired. A double chop. That means twice the raking to be done over on BBC Two for Tom Allen. See what Aaron and Akeem think about being fired now on BBC.